Yeah, good day. Uh, today I'm rather excited. Um, I got a surprise in the mail. Hmm. Yeah. If you got that, that'd be a bit of a surprise, wouldn't it? But of course it uh, came with something else. Which is this. And uh, as you can see, that's empty. There's nothing, nothing in that. The excitement is actually this piece here. My little steady cam, well, steady cam clone or whatever you want to call it. This has actually uh, arrived at long last and uh, rather excited about it. I've had a little bit of a pre look at it obviously and I've discovered that these smaller weights are the ones that I require for my camera but I can't show you that because my camera is actually uh, filming this so I'll have to swap over to a different little my old one, my little tiny uh, SJ cam which I'll do shortly and uh, what I'll do is I'll actually show you the correct way to set this up I've seen so many videos on the internet um, with these little things and uh, nobody seems to set them up properly they all tell you you know that you've got to use on the top here you've got this little tiny um, screw here you adjust that and you've got this little thing on the back here which locks the plate which goes backwards and forwards so that slides across uh, so if you unlock that there you just unlock him if I can do that and uh, you know, it just sort of slides as you can see there backwards and forwards and the other thing here is you want to loosen that and it slides up and down blah 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 um, you do have a if you unscrew that there it just pops out you've got a little safety locking mechanism in there um, and just basically just pop it in screw it and the idea is once you um, work out where the actual uh, center of gravity is on your uh, camera you'll be able to just simply automatically lock this in place without any dramas once you've locked that um, there's a couple of other little things like the adjustment for the length on it uh, which is this little one on the side here uh, that drops drops down so you got a bit of a bit of mucking around with that and again uh, I'll show you how to determine the correct length to have it pulled out uh, shortly you'll notice that on the quick release plate there's numbers on one side and not on the other and that's so it corresponds with the little area that's here so you can actually slide it in and out um, to a position where you're going to have your camera set now with the uh, Canon X60 uh, the HS series um, it's very very difficult to balance this video I've set my camera back roughly uh, one full notch which is about 10 uh, 10 millimeter and I'll be using that as a permanent setting so whenever I put my camera on this mount it'll always be setting to number three on this uh, particular mark here try to align everything the best you can which is sort of in a uh, nice straight line don't be tempted to push this forward and don't be tempted to push it too far back because you'll finish up it just uh, won't balance properly the next thing you've got to do of course is pop it into your little mount your little do the wacky here, which you just slide him in and screw up on the far side. Don't over tighten it for a start, you just need it so it slides around a bit. Now, you can see from this, oh, you think, oh, yeah, it's beautiful, it's done. No, it's not, it's way off, way, way off. Um, it's just so unstable, it's unbelievable. Um, I'll just better lock this in position there. And easy way to test is you should have about a one second drop between sides and you can see that's definitely not a one second it's wobbling all over the place that is really really poorly balanced you would not be able to use that uh, at all as a steady cam you'd, you'd have a very very shaky uh, video now at the moment i've got the heavy weights on both sides everything's fully loaded we'll just undo this a little bit and we'll drop it down a tad and you're thinking, oh yeah, that's gonna, they're going to fix it? No, it's not going to fix it. My camera only comes in at 690 grams, so it's a fairly light camera. Um, this is obviously designed to up to 3 kilo, so it's definitely not going to work on this. And again, if I pull this back and let it go, you'll see it wobbles all over the place. It's just not, a, it's just not balanced. So if I tried to sort of move this backwards and forwards, you can see it's just hopeless, absolutely useless. So if you're having problems like that, straight up, too much weight on the bottom. So we've got to reduce the weight. I'll be dropping a couple of these off and uh, we'll reset this in a second for you. 
Now I've uh, taken the heavy weights off. We've got just the small ones on at the moment. And uh, we'll just let him go and see what happens. And as you can see, it's, yeah, it's not, not looking happy at the moment. It's, uh, again, it's way off out of balance. It's pretty, pretty awful, actually. Um, so we need to do a bit of mucking around. Now, what I've found, the easiest way to balance them is using these little threads. Just put your finger on it and basically hold your finger there. And when this, when this is actually vertical, sitting up and down like that, you've got one of the axes correct. At the moment, you can see she's, she's way off. It's definitely front heavy. So the camera is facing this direction way too much. It has to come back a fraction. So again, it's uh, just a little touch of the blue knob on the side. Slide it back just ever so slightly. Tighten it up again. Hang on to your handle and hold with the finger. And uh, we are getting a little better. It may not show there just yet, but we are a little better. So I'll play around with this setting. And uh, once I get it right, I'll uh, come back and show you what it should do. Okay, I've... Uh, Finished up, I've slid the weights out a fraction. Now, if I hold it, you notice it's on an angle. It's uh, not properly balanced. It's still way off. If I do the other side, you notice the same thing. Now, what I've done is I've actually balanced this with lens out. Now, all of a sudden, if I do that and I come back, we are now hanging pretty well vertical. If I go the other side and hold that again, we're hanging pretty vertical. When we come around to the camera, we just get the swing. Now I'm not worrying too much, it's going to rotate, I know that. So I just let you see this, let it go. You see it's slowly rotating. Well that's telling you it's still out of balance, it's not correct. Um, and if I do it the other way, let him go, it's rotating, it's shocking. Now what you've got to do, the next balance you've got to do, is this one. Put your finger. I've found by putting your finger in here and balancing the camera so that the camera sits this way or that way with your finger in the middle, then you've actually got the center of gravity correct. So I'll play around with that, which is this particular little thing here. It's got to be moved backwards and forwards. I'll have a play with that shortly and I'll come back when I've hopefully got it balanced. Okay, so at this point I've got it uh, balanced in the other axis, which you'll get to see in a sec when I let it go. It uh, tells you straight up there that it is lens heavy. So if we go sideways, uh, I haven't quite got it balanced. It's pretty close, but not quite. Uh, so that tells you that the camera now has to move this direction backwards. So it makes it a lot easier for, um, for this. So I'll get into it and I'll play with it and of course when I do bring it back I'll also have the lens extended to get the correct balance in it. Okay, now I've uh, had a bit of fun with it and as I was saying earlier put your finger in to balance it. As you can see the camera is sitting there nicely. Swing it over. Finger. Oh, we're still rotating so we're not quite right. Now why is that? Ah, oh, could it be that I haven't put... Hmm, that kind of makes a difference. Make certain when you're balancing this camera that the lens is extended. Now I've got a 67mm adapter ring on the end of this um, and that's for my macro lenses and I'm not taking it off, I'm leaving it on obviously. Now if I do the same, same balancing trick again, finger, finger, vertical, vertical, I can pretty well stop it in any position and the camera itself is not going to roll out of it. And that tells you that you've got it perfectly balanced. Now when we hold him and let it go, we should have a much more stable... Look at that. That's a bit better. Still not 100%. We've got... I've just bumped my finger then, so it just knocked it out of alignment. Uh, but that's basically all you've got to do, um, is just play with those two axes. And don't forget that sliding these weights in and out will make a difference to the centre of gravity up the top here. The same as extending the piece down the bottom. Now, if I very quickly undo that, push this back up to give you an idea of what happens. Now, my camera's, as I said, 690 gram. 
uh, as you can see she's <laughs> not uh, not well balanced so with my own system I have to have this well it works out pretty well right to the bottom which is <laughs> suits me fine um, so basically all you do to determine the weight of your camera is just uh, slide it up and down to where you think it should be and uh, push that in a bit more and as you hold it the camera should stay pretty stable now you can see that that's got a bit of a lean on it and we'll try the, the old routine again here um, you can see it's not very 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 slow very slow it's way too slow what happens when you uh, move your camera in that position if you've got it sort of like that the camera itself yeah she's she's fair it's reasonable but it will start to get a bit of a tilt on it the same happens if you have too much weight on the bottom um, you think oh yeah that's uh it's going to work well it's just a fraction i moved it probably about half a millimeter is about all that had to go and uh, it makes a substantial difference to the balance of the actual camera itself so again just holding that so she's uh, pretty well vertical other way again vertical put your finger horizontal doesn't roll swing back the other position Getting in there and you can see that's sitting there quite nice it's not going over and it should stay pretty well on any angle that you roll the camera on so that if you get a position you can see it's just just a little bit out you'll never 100 percent balance this type of camera and that's because the lens extrudes so every time you press your power on or off she pops out now it only has to be a fraction of a millimeter out and it does adjust the actual center of gravity so these type of cameras are very very difficult to actually balance but once you've got it right you just make a note of where that setting is there do not adjust these you make certain that they are well and truly tight if you've adjusted your length um, get a tape measure and measure it or you can put a notch in the actual um, carbon itself but I'd rather measure it and that way so that when you go to use it again you can loosen it um, put it in the bag pop it out to whatever length you physically had it at lock it in position uh, pop your camera back on top and uh, everything's nicely balanced uh, it's uh, simple as that one other thing too that I might might mention uh, just before I forget I'll pop my measurement my little doodle wacky down there and tighten back up again when you play with these you'll notice that you've got on this particular one it's got a, a name brand on one side and nothing on the other make certain that if you're facing it this direction when you're balancing it you keep every single time you put your um, camera on this particular unit on the little steady cam unit that you have the same uh, sign facing either forward or to, uh, behind you this plate is slightly out of balance so that if you balance your camera this way and you think you've got all your settings perfect and then you set your camera up backwards and you put the, um, the camera facing this direction and the name the other way strangely enough it will not balance and you've got to go through the whole process go through the whole process again um, it's really it's really quite simple to do and uh, the results are absolutely astounding uh, I'll take some video outside and give you a bit of an idea of what it can do